so hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for it now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now start the lab now open the console incognito window now this will be in depth tutorial you will get step by step guide otherwise if you miss any single step in the middle or if you don't watch the video carefully you won't get full score because this lab is little bit tricky so now click on i understand now basically we will be performing all the steps manually this lab is very easy but you, you just need to pay attention so now here click on i agree and then click on agree and continue now from here on the navigation menu you have to just open vertex ai studio you have to just open vertex ai studio overview we will be creating multiple prompts and deploying apps and testing the chat agents and working with videos images and many more things so first thing we have to just create an app for that you have to just click on create prompt now we will be renaming the prompt so for that go back to the lab instructions and we will update the name so this is our page so click on task number one as you can see we have to create an application now as you can see we have to change the name from untitled to this so just click on here and replace the entire contents if you don't know how to replace you can click on ctrl a ctrl x and just paste it now in system instruction paste it now here you have to just paste the prompt this is the prompt area here you have to paste the prompt we'll be using this part multiple times so that's why i have shared this now here you have to switch the model to 2.0 flash make sure to switch here you can switch and now here on the advanced settings we have to update the region for me it's your central one it might be different for you so do check the lab for it and update accordingly and then we'll move forward to the next part now these things have been done you don't have to make any other modification now click on this submit icon after that we'll save it and deploy it so as you can see these are the part we have to complete now click on save make sure to turn on the auto save now for region it will auto populate the region now just click on save it will take 5 to 10 minutes sometimes even less so you need to wait for it after that we'll deploy the app and we'll be running the invocations on it so basically here we have to wait simply meanwhile if you haven't liked the video like it and do subscribe the channel apart from this check the playlist for more games and on more exciting google cloud goodies finally after waiting for four to five minutes it has been saved wait for a moment once again so now it's saving you need to wait for a few more minutes so it's saved now we will deploy the app so click on here just follow this now enable all the apis you have to just click on enable apis it will enable all the apis required for this app deployment so this will take a while now you have to just click on i agree and just click on create app so let me show you how you'll do this is the way you have to complete now wait for this file to get uploaded and now your app deployment will start shortly so now as you can see it will take some time basically it takes four to five minutes sometimes even more so you even one thing you have to do only that is wait you cannot do any other thing just wait and watch now after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes the app status will be show as ready so wait for the app status to go ready so it's finally ready after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes so now here you will get an option to open app just open it 
and here we will be pasting the prompt present on the lab instruction as you can see type a message copy it carefully now wait for the app to fully load now just paste here and hit enter now as you can see we got the output now when we hit check my progress we will get the score without any issue for task number one now task number two is also similar to this now again click on overview click on continue now here again go to create prompt and here we will be creating another prompt so for that copy the name carefully again replace the untitled prompt and for system instruction copy this prompt here and just paste over here now for the second part just paste on the prompt area update the model now again the region that is your central one in my case it might be different for you now here we have to add one more changes two changes that is temperature and output token so just type it here or you can use this also so now here output token limit update it you have to update according to the lab instruction so finally everything is fine now click on this airplane icon that is basically the submit button so now it's auto saving if you don't see save button you have to just click on save so now here you have to just wait for some time one more important thing for this task is that first clear all the prompts now for this part i am getting some error but if you don't get here you have to add input examples and output on the left side it will show input and output as for this you have to just enter these and just paste here so currently we don't need this part so you'll get the score without any issue i just shared if you face any issue now for this compare model this is the most important part and a lot of you guys will make mistake on this part also even i face some difficulties while completing this task so don't worry here is the way how you can complete it so again click on the overview now from here click on create prompt now copy it carefully and update the name so now update the name here and for system instructions just copy it carefully and paste over here again on the prompt area if you don't know what is prompt area this is the prompt area just paste here now update the model the model is same gemini 2.0 flash 001 now here again update the region to same which is present on your lab instruction temperature value will be updated to 0 0.2 it might be different for you so do check the lab for it now we don't have to make modification just click on submit and we got the output now you have to click on save so currently i have already enabled auto save so i don't have to save it if you don't see save button auto save button just click on the save now we have to make some comparisons so for comparisons you have to do one thing click on this compare and then click on continue so now here we'll be doing some updates so first of all add this prompt so copy the prompt carefully compare new prompt and just replace the entire content so you have to just replace the entire content for the right panel and once you are done we will update the prompt so just replace it Control a and just replace it So now you have to update the model also. So the model will be same. As you can see it's here. Let me show you the model name. It's Gemini 2.0. So just switch the model. And from here just update the region again. And for temperature it will be 0 0.2 as mentioned. And now you have to click on apply. So once you have clicked on apply will be updated now basically you have to click on submit prompt then it will regenerate the responses on both the prompts which you have just created so as you can see it's creating the responses based on the prompt we just now created so these are the two different responses now for the second prompt you can save it and name any name of your choice 
so let's save it how will find the save button just scroll down as you can see here is the save as new just enter any name and you can let the default name also and then click on save so it will take some time now we have to compare different temperature settings so again on the prompt text as you can see this is the original text so we have to update the original text as per the lab instruction and the prompt we just created recently that is the first prompt so wait for this to complete and let's update the prompt so finally it has been updated now we'll be updating the prompt so we are basically reverting the prompt to the original simpler version of the first prompt without adding some manual changes so for that you have to click on copy you can directly copy from here or you can just copy paste the first prompt so these are basically same prompt only so just save it and after that you have to just once you have copied and pasted what you have to do let me show you wait for a minute so these things we have done so basically we have to update the configuration changes so click on this pencil icon and just switch model and just change the temperature of model so basically we don't have to make any model changes here right now so and from here just update it if it requires and now click on update apply and then submit the prompts again so once you will submit the prompts it will be updated so basically here one mistake you may make i will show you in the later part of this lab why you won't get full score on this task because other tasks remaining tasks are very easy but this task is little bit tricky so here when you will click on this gemini 2.5 you will get an error so you won't get score let me show you how you'll get the error so if you'll try to search it you won't get because the model is already present here so no need to search it like this now from here you have to just update the temperature to 0.2 and update the output token limit so just do it like this and now you have to just click on apply and once the response is loaded you will have to just submit the prompts so wait for few seconds to update so now finally the prompt has been updated now click on submit prompt now it will update all the basic data so when you hit check my progress you won't get the score because you have made one mistake the mistake which i am going to show you what mistake you have made wait for it to fully load so even if you hit multiple times you won't get so score so let me show you why we want to get the score so here again click on this now once you have updated the model again click on apply and one more important thing which you have to do let me show you what you have to do scroll down and you have to just click on update you might be missing this step otherwise you will get the score without any issue once you have click on update the prompt will be updated and will get the score without any issue so that's the way we have to complete this task 3 and this was the very hard task 3 basically a little bit tricky part now for task number 4 and 5 are very easy again follow this way we will be doing image analysis here so now copy the name and paste over here just replace it and here first of all download this local image so first of all update the model and then update the region so here you can download it to your local system first of all let's update the region so it might be different for you it is different for me too so now here you don't have to make any other modifications just save this image to your local system you can rename it anything 
so here just save it by using any name now one thing you have to do will be using the prompt attached to this image so now click on this icon upload it now here just type the file name or you can locate it now here just paste the prompt here now click on submit so if you have click on submit you will get the score but sometimes you don't get score so you have to do one more thing that again re-upload the image same image and then enter the prompt or second prompt you have to enter so let me show you how i will do so just re-upload the file i am showing otherwise i have already got the score but for you so that you don't miss any update i mean the score gets updated so for now the last part is the vertex ai media studio so now again from here navigation menu click on media studio here we have to create a video and some images so first of all click on this image in so this is our vertex ai media studio looks like now here you have to just paste the prompt and it will generate images just like you have generated maybe generated some images using the chat gpt or many more things so it's basically generates the images for you so you need to just wait for it make sure to check the changes and the modifications as per the lab input now finally the images have been generated now you have to click on this video icon we will be generating a video so for that just paste the video prompt here as you can see here now you have to just modify some changes you won't get the score because we have made one mistake here we have to generate a single video but we are generating four videos so from here we have to modify it so let's see basically i am covering all aspects how you can get the error on this lab so now here just make these modifications that is was change the number of results to one and the video length to be five seconds now output directory will be your project id basically the bucket you just created or it's present already so as you can see the second number bucket just select it all things are right and now you have to just click on submit button and wait for the prompt to get ready so it will take some time meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video for more such amazing contents and now just wait for a few seconds and it will be live so finally the video is now live i mean the video which you just created using vertex ai is live we are done with the lab guys if you like the video do like it and do subscribe the channel for more such amazing content thank you have a great day ahead